Like, Felicia, good job. You're one of the talks of the pool deck today with an incredible double and Stanford being on a big high. Uh, let's go to your first event, the 100 Butterfly, tonight. Mm -hmm. Did you think that was going to be the end result going into finals? You know, um, we started off actually with a 200 medley relay win, and then Maya won the 400 IM, and so after that we kind of, you know, we were building momentum and everyone was getting really excited, and so when I set up for the 100 Fly, you know, I could feel the energy from my team, and I just went out there and had the swim I could have. 50.89, one of the few to get under that 51 barrier. How hard have you guys been training this year? How much do you feel it's paid off? I mean, in the beginning of the year, Greg and I sat down, had a meeting, and said, you know, what what do you think your events are? And I knew today I'd have a triple, and um, best case scenario, I'd have I'd be at my 12th race today. And so we trained really, really hard to um, you know keep me. Uh, strong enough to be able to finish all those races and, and still compete with the best in, in the NCAA. And so, um, you know, props to Greg, Tracy, and Jordan, our volunteer assistant. They've pre like they prepped us so well, and I couldn't be happier. Do you, pre do you uh, prefer the hunter backstroke over the fly or the other way around? Um, I used to prefer the hunter fly over the hunter back. Uh, previous or you know, last two years they're kind of interchangeable now. I. I mean, I trained for both, and, and both are very similar, surprisingly. <laughs> you have some phenomenal kicks that come off the wall. <laughs> what kind of training do you do in practice for those? Um, actually, the big thing was uh, I had surgery last year, and I couldn't swim, and so Greg was like, well, if you can't swim, we're going to make you kick a lot, and <laughs> I would just go under and under water, like, the entire practice, and, and it's really paid off this year. I mean, I, I thought I wouldn't be able to, like, wouldn't swim at all, and he's like, nope, you still got to come and do work, and <laughs> I was like, okay, fine. <laughs> Day two is a big day and big story of the morning with Cal yeah. DQing their relay, Stanford having an unbelievable first and second day. Everyone wants to hear from a Stanford Cardinal. Where do you guys feel like you fit in this team running going into day three? Um, I think coming to the year, our goal is to be in the top four. We slid out of it last year and got eighth. And, you know, that's kind of been motivating the entire team, all 23 of us, um, even the ones back home. Um, to you know, train our best and prepare ourselves to get that top four finish and get a trophy back at Stanford. And um, you know, the race shakes out the way it shakes out, and, and there's still one more day to go. So there's still a lot of a lot of points to be earned, and can't comment on where we'll end up, but we're doing well. Congratulations on a great swim. Thank you. Two were, great swims. Thank you. Were you happy with a third place finish in the hundred backstroke after your butterfly win? I was. Yeah. I mean, I've never been under 51 before, so that was really exciting for me. And um, to finish that race the way I did, uh, you know, it was really exciting, and it's a testament to how um, Greg and Tracy and Jordan have prepared me this entire year, and you know, it was just a great feeling. All right, lastly, being your senior year, what's the plan moving forward? <laughs> and that's been the number one question I've gotten on deck <laughs> this entire weekend. Um, right now, the plan is to through the summer, and then I'll make a decision after that. Congratulations tonight. Thank you.